Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Nashville Stars franchise. We continue our journey here in the ALCS down to nothing to the Houston Astros. And today we have a pivotal game in this series. The first game on the road here in Houston, Texas. Astros will have three straight home games if they need them. And we will see if our team can come back in this one. Today we face Luis Garcia, maybe one of the most annoying pitch pitchers to face in this game. His windup is terribly long. And then there's Madison Bumgarner, who we acquired at the trade deadline. We saved him for this game, thinking that this would be a pivotal game. And here we go. Luis Garcia with this long windup will face Willie Adames for the first at bat of the game. That's an outside cutter. He gets him to chase that one. Kerry Doss to the plate now, actually hitting very well here in the ALCS. That one's low, could have went either way. The ump calls it ball four. Rafael Devers to the plate, hits one to the left side. That one actually gets into that hole there between third and short, and they will actually get the force out at second base. So a fielder's choice that time for Devers. Dom Thompson-Williams, who went deep twice in game number two. He gets an inside fastball. It freezes him at the knees, and it will get Garcia out of this first inning. We face this very tough Houston lineup. Kyle Tucker leads them off. We have the shift on to the right, and he goes to opposite field. It will be a leadoff double. What a start here for Houston at home. The crowd is hype. And we'll see if we can get out of this now after the leadoff double. Jose Altuve up to the plate. He hits one down the right field line. Dom Thompson-Williams does run it down, and the runner will tag from second base, and the throw gets him at third. Dom thompson Williams, how many plays will he make for this ball club? I've said it once. I'm going to say it again. He deserves a big extension. Just his defense and offense combined are just unmatched. Ground ball to short here from Bregman, and that one will end this inning. Willie Adames with the strong throw. On to the fifth inning. It was kind of a boring game. Both teams kind of manufactured one run. It's now 1-1 here in the fifth. Both pitchers actually pitching pretty well up to this point. And here is Bumgarner facing the bottom of their lineup. But you see they all already have like some pretty good bats there as Aloy Jimenez hitting at that nine spot will ground out to first as the top of the order does roll over. And this is Kyle Tucker up to the plate. Foul ball into foul territory. Endeavors runs it down. He was already all the way over at shortstop as we move on to the top of the sixth. Here is Devers at the plate. Has not been able to get going in this one. That one's just a fly ball to center field. And that will be the first out here of the sixth inning, bringing up Jacob McCarthy to the plate. Sam Hedges is out of the bullpen here now in relief. And he gets a ground ball to second. El Tuve over to first. And it's a deadlock here through the first six and a half innings. Madison Bumgarner still on the mound for us. And he gets El Tuve to fly Hit a fly ball to left center, and that one does get down. Tramel could not get to that one. Neither could Enrique Bradfield Jr., and it will be a double here to start the sixth. Man on second base here with no outs in the middle of their order coming up. Alex Bregman at the plate inside pitch. This one's hit to short right field. Dom Thompson Williams on the run. You're not going to run on him after that throw earlier. He gets it in quickly. Jordan Alvarez at the plate now 0 for 2 on the day and Madison Bumgarner very very good uh command that he has on the mound and you could just see right here facing the next batter here with two outs ground ball up the middle and for some reason Shea Wickham takes his sweet time Max Muncy not a great runner it's a very slow ground ball but look at Wickham he just absolutely lollygags you can't do that in the playoffs Hassan Kim to the plate now. A runner's on the corners, and the hot corner gets a hard-hit ball. Endeavors corrals that one. We get out of that. We are lucky that Shea Wickham's play did not backfire. 
On to the top of the eighth inning. Here is Adames at the plate. He gets a good pitch to hit. Down the right field line. That one sneaks over the wall in right. That only went 350 feet. Adames just has the power to muscle it to opposite field. And it gets enough on it. And Nashville takes the late 2-1 to one lead. Here comes Doss to the plate. He actually excels at hitting versus left-handed pitching. That one is going to be a swing and miss, though. One out in this inning as that brings up Devers and just a, kind of an off day from Devers today. He is 0-4-3. Bringing up Dom Thompson-Williams, who turns on this one to deep center field. Knocking off of the wall in center field. That's the deepest part of the ballpark right there. And he has a double. And Thompson-Williams keeps this inning alive. Jacob McCarthy up next, but we are actually going to pinch hit for him, bringing in Jesus Aguilar for his first at-bat here of the playoffs. And you know Jesus Aguilar was a guy we started this franchise with, trying to come up clutch here, but it's just a ground ball to Tim Anderson at short. Easy throw to first will get Jesus, who is not a great runner. On to the top of the ninth inning. This is Jorge Alfaro at the plate now. Emilio Pagan at, on the mound here. He hits one hard to short. Tim Anderson kind of fumbles it and then tries to corral himself, and the throw is offline, and that's going to be an E6. Jorge Alfaro's got good wheels on first base. This is going to be Shea Wickham, who gets enough bat on this one, and it will drop into center field. So guys on first and second here with one out, bringing up Enrique Bradfield Jr., the young kid, our top prospect in our organization right now. He's going to get a hold of a pitch to left field. That one gets through. The throw home will not get Alfaro. And how about Enrique Bradfield Jr.? If this is a sign of things to come, you got to love it. In a clutch situation in the playoffs, he gets the start in center field. He goes the opposite field. And it's now 3-2-1. They go to the bullpen to bring in Hector Neris. And he's appeared in three and one quarter innings here in the playoffs in three games. He will face Willie Adamas with the man on first and second here. And he gets one over the middle of the plate. And Adames hits his second bomb of the game. It's a 6-1 to one ball game. Adames has come up clutch for us so much in his first season with Nashville. And he is nothing short of that and that at bat. Two home runs for the 29-year-old shortstop. As that brings up Kerry Doss continuing this inning with the hit to the right side. How about Doss, man? He is just so good. No matter what situation, he just finds a way to get on base. Devers comes to the plate. Like I said, hitless today. Another fly ball to right field. That one will be caught. And now two outs, bringing up Dom Thompson-Williams. One for four today, just a little ahead of that one. That's an 83-mile-an-hour splitter. It's kind of tough to time that one up. We move on to the ninth inning as Robert Suzuki with the five-run cushion will face the bottom of the order. And Corey Lee hits a ground ball to second, and we steal back a game here on the road. All road wins here in this series so far. And we are now down 2-1 to one in the ALCS. What a great win. And we manufacture some runs there in the late innings, scoring five in the last two frames. And what a game from Willie Adamez. Two home runs. We needed all of those swings. And Madison Bumgarner, seven innings pitch, gave up five hits, only struck out two, only walked two also. And now we move on to game number four where we will put the AL Rookie of the Year in Ty Macklin on the mound. He will face Framber Valdez, who is also a lefty, another lefty in a matchup. And here, Nashville starts out with a 2 to nothing lead. And that will be Jesus Aguilar who comes through with a two-run single, two RBI single, as I should say. Gary Doss comes up in the third frame, and he gets a solo home run. It's now a 3-0 lead. But Houston starts to come back. Alex Bregman gets a single. He's 2-for-2. Two two. He brings an RBI. And then following that up is their four hitter. But we come back on offense, and we start another big inning. Two runs here in the fourth. Make it four runs in the fourth. It's a 7-3 game. Macklin's given up three runs. You have to think about... 
you know, are we going to pull him soon? He gives up a walk and a hit by pitch and then a three run home run to Aloy Jimenez. Definitely not what you want to see. But we hop in here in the top of the sixth inning. Jesus Aguilar with bases loaded, one out. We'll see if the veteran can come through. He gets an off-speed pitch. It's a weak ground ball to second. He's not going to beat this one out. It's a double play. And we squander that opportunity to maybe give us some more insurance. On to the bottom of the seventh inning. Here is Cody Stajic on the mound facing Max Muncy. And that will load up the bases for Tim Anderson. The exact same scenario we saw with Jesus, but with two outs. And here Anderson, 0 for 3 in his game. Gets it outside. Slider will go up the box with it. It will score one. It will score two. And Houston takes the 9-8 to eight lead. Wow. What a clutch hit that time by Tim Anderson. We have to pull Stagic in this scenario. Jose Ruiz comes out of the pin. And he's going to be facing Pedro Leon. And he will watch that one over the middle of the plate. So down by one, going into the top of the eighth inning, Whitlock comes out of the bullpen. He starts out giving up a leadoff triple to Jorge Alfaro. So a man on third base, Adames with a situation here to bring in a run, and he just gets wood on this one. It will be good enough to tie this ball game up at nine apiece. So here we continue this eighth inning now. Devers is 3-4-3, three, three. a big bounce back game. He gets a pitch over the middle. This is a slider. It is going to be taken to upper deck home run. Rafael Devers comes through in the clutch, and it is now 10-9 on the road. And wow, Devers, you can't count on him to have bad games all the time like he did in game number three. Because in game number four, he is four for four with the go-ahead home run. Taylor Trammell up now in the ninth inning, and he will start out this inning with a leadoff walk. And our 6-7 isn't bad here as we bring up Colin Ozuna, and Ozuna hits one well down the left field line. That one will get him to second. Trammell over to third. The throw will not be in time. And now we have runners on second and third with no outs. John Dumont had a two-run homer earlier in this game to make it a four to or to make it one for four on the day for him, but he can't come through right there. He strikes out swinging. Jorge Alfaro to the plate here. Three-one pitch will be low. He will check his swing, but the ump says he did not go around. That will load up the bases for Mr. Clutch here. Willie Adames, who has just been absolutely money for us. He hits a short fly ball to center field. We will at least test the throw to see where it's going to be. And the throw is right on line, but it looks like Tramiel gets way too far up the line, and he will not get back in time. Leon with a great throw home, and hopefully that will not come back to bite us. On to the ninth inning. Here is Alex Bregman up to the plate now. A hard ground ball to third. Good throw by Devers. We'll get him. One away. Jordan Alvarez at the plate. And he will get walked as Pablo Moya tries to come in for the save. A big clutch moment for the young closer. Facing Aloy Jimenez inside fastball. We'll bring it to a 1-2 count. And we will call a change up here. And it will be strike three for Aloy Jimenez. And now here we are down to the last style. Max Muncy comes to the plate. Chopper up the middle. Adames will flip to second. And we tie this series at two apiece. What a game here. A 10 to 9 game. And pretty much that last game three was pretty much 1-1 going into the sixth inning. And we took advantage. And now here we are with two road wins. Both teams get two road wins. 15 hits it took to win this game. We maybe should have pulled Ty Macklin a little early. I think Houston just started to get his number and started to hit him pretty well. But oh well, we get the win. You can't really look back at it now because now it is two apiece. 
You know, in Game 5, I'm not sure who to really go with. Kohei Arihara was such a great pitcher in the regular season. I have not started him yet in the playoffs. He might get the start in Game 5. It will either be him or Troy Quincy because I want to save Game 6 for Madison Bumgarner. But if we end up going 7, I would have no idea who to start in that Game 7. Because right now, I don't truly trust Jack Leiter. And then we'll see if, you know, Kohei Arihara will get the start. I'm not exactly sure. I might go a combination of Macklin and Arihara. Or not Macklin and Arihara. Uh, Troy Quincy and Arihara. We'll have to see. I'm not exactly sure. This is a pivotal game, too. I mean, a last game in Houston. We have to make a tough call here. Who's going to get the start? So hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I hope the rain don't come in November Cause the summer went way too fast I'm trying real hard to